Welcome in today's presentation about the plant maintenance add-on developed by Universe AP. So the plant maintenance add-on is an add-on which is seamlessly integrated with the pre-delivered SAP by Design native modules, which is finance, purchasing, warehouse management, human capital management. Also, the add-on comes with the feature of cost allocation on the right cost centers during confirmations of maintenances. Another feature is the large spectrum of reports and KPIs offered with the add-on that the stakeholders could use to extract all needed data from the system. In today's agenda, we will be going through an overview of the add-on and proceeding with the different steps that could be done with the add-on. First, we'll be creating a maintenance plan, generating the notification from this plan, scheduling and creating the maintenance order, and releasing and executing the order. So the process in general is as follows, which is five steps that we should proceed with in order to do our maintenances and generate the right scheduling for these maintenances. We start with the creation and we proceed with the scheduling. For scheduling, we have to add parameters to do the scheduling, change the status of the plan into active, allocate the equipment or the functional location we want to do maintenance on, and then generation the schedule. Afterwards, we generate the notification and all the data will be passed from the plan into the notification. The next step would be the order creation. In order to do so, we have to add additional information in this order and then see if we have enough material and then proceed with the confirmations. Once the read data is filled, we can confirm our maintenance and then the system will be generating the different postings about the service confirmation and the material consumption. And now we can pass through the demo on the system in order to see the add-on more in depth. Hello and welcome into this video in which we will be seeing the plant maintenance add-on developed by Universe AP. Once the add-on is implemented on your tenant, you will be having two additional work centers. The first one will have all the master data needed in order to conduct your maintenance orders and confirmations. And the second work center will be having all you need to create the transactional documents needed. So here we are able to create our maintenance plan, the maintenance notification, the order, and the maintenance confirmation at the end. So to begin with, we will be creating a new maintenance plan. Here we fill in the basic header information like the description, the maintenance object type, whether it's an equipment or a functional location, and the plan category, whether it's a notification or a maintenance order. Afterwards, we choose our maintenance manager, for example, the maintenance team leader and we proceed with the scheduling data so here we tell the system based on with which indicator we want to do our scheduling let's go with time based and the scheduling period let's say that we want to do our maintenance each day starting from yesterday for example and the call horizon or the number of days on which we want to plan our maintenance, let's say seven days. So once the basic data is filled, we proceed with adding our equipment on which we want to do our maintenance. So let's go with this driller. Afterwards, we choose the task, the task ID that has all the operations needed to do maintenance on this equipment that we have already created on master data and the measurement point ID. Once all data is filled, we proceed with changing the maintenance plan status into active. Once activated, we generate the schedule. And here we can see that the add-on generated us a schedule on seven days based on the data we have already filled in. Afterwards, we release our maintenance plan. Once the maintenance plan is released, we can go and check it in order to generate our notification. 
in here the system telling us that the notification was generated. And we will be using this notification in order to generate our order. Once the order is created, we can use it in order to do our confirmations. And here we can see that the add-on has already pre-filled the majority of fields, whether it's plant cost, the total material cost, the internal or external operations cost, and even the plant effort that we have already filled in the master data. Scrolling down, we can find the operations tab, which we can modify or even add another operation if we want to. The components tab, where we can find the components that will be needed in order to do our maintenance. And here, a feature that is included in the, in the add-on is the availability check of the material itself. So from here, we can say if we have enough material or not. Once the availability check is done, we proceed with reserving our product. Another feature that the add-on offers is the creation of a purchase request from the interface itself if we don't have enough material to do our maintenance order with. So here, once we have enough product and we have reserved the needed quantity, we can proceed with generating the order confirmation. And here we can fill in the real data that we did use in our order. So here we have the field of actual hours that we can fill. Let's say we only worked half an hour instead of a one hour that was estimated. And the components also that we have used, let's say that we used one each. And afterwards, we can complete our confirmations. Once the confirmations is completed, we can see that the system generated two postings, one for the internal service and one for the material consumption. And from here, we can see the native integration between the add-on and the financial part also. So to summarize, this add-on is a solution that was devel developed by UniverseAP with the native SAP Business by Design module, whether it's purchasing, warehousing, and all the other logistic uh, modules, also the financial part. Thank you for staying in and see you next time.